Hey guys, what's up? This is Paper Lucario, and welcome to my first Let's Play of the channel. We're going to be doing Bonanza Brothers for the Sega Genesis. A rather obscure game for the system, and I think it deserves more attention. Now, the story of the game is, as you can see here, Bonanza Bros are being hired by this, I assume, a corporate giant, who wants us to test a security force. So in order to do that, we have to go to these locations and rob them of the treasures. And to top it all off, we're only given three minutes to accomplish this task. So, let's get this started. Now, the game is divided up into ten stages, since this is, an arc this is a port of an arcade game from the really early 90s, 1990, I think, before Sonic the Hedgehog. And I think it's actually one of it's actually one of the earliest games wow. to make use of a arcade board Sega made called uh, Sega System 24, which is actually quite interesting. So now that we got the history of the game out of the way, let's explain the premise since I'm in a room completely secluded from enemies. So you can so basic uh, basic movements is jump and shoot. You'll, uh, these guns can only stun enemies for a few seconds rather than kill them. And you have these two panes, front and back. Back is mainly used for cover, which if you stand here long enough, a fly will come to your head. Or you can, or you use the back pane to climb upstairs. Wow. And so, that's pretty much it. Uh, the middle, on the middle hub, as you can see, you can see my score, the time I have, and the amount of lives. On top, on the top is where, if I had a second player, we would be playing the game co-op, but since I'm always forever alone, I will never... But since, yeah, since I'm forever alone, I am pretty much going solo. So, let's get into enemy types while we're at it. Uh, we have these blue guys here that are just basic Goombas. They they see you, they blow their whistle, and they try to clobber wow. you for club, though they move the fastest out of the bunch. Wow. And now we have these uh, riot shield guys, which are immediately much more of a threat because wow. their shields, obviously, bullets won't hit them. If on the side of their shield, so you have to hit them at their exposed wow. side. Wow. I'm pretty sure that's completely obvious, but yeah, you have to take out enemies wow. using your stun wow. gun, or my favorite method, enemies in front of a door, completely smash them. <laughs> no, I'm not kidding, that's one of the ways you can do it. Wow. And with that, that completes level one. And now we're gonna head into level two, which in which they're gonna show off, uh, or at least you can see the other bits of mechanics in this game. But meanwhile, we're we'll be selling safes, money, and I think a book. Anyways, a green guards the same thing as purple, just colored green. They just shoot guns at you. All right. One thing you want to avoid, cans, or any traps like that. Because if you do, walk over it, you'll immediately get the guards' attention, and they'll try hunting you down. Wow. So yeah, just be careful of that. There will be plenty of traps like that in the game, so just keep just keep an eye on them. Oh god. Wow. Oh, whew. That was close. Excuse me, buddy. Hi. Wow. Yeah. Wow. That was close. Nice view we're having, huh? Wow. <laughs> Alright, now let's head on to uh, my favorite part of the level. Gliding! Into a concrete wall! Ah, shit! And how the hell do we not take damage from that? Anyways, the guy I just took down now is a... I guess you can call it heavy or whatever. Not only, they throw bombs. If you get close enough to you, they try punching you like a heavy from Team Fortress 2. And on top of that, they take four shots to take down. Oh, and before we leave the level, must I really comment on all the boxes that have SEGA written on them? I know it's some in-game advertising or something, but that's kind of a bit... I don't know, pretentious a little bit. I don't know. But anyways, now we're gonna head to Las Vegas! And here we're gonna be stealing... VHS tapes in a toolbox. Okay. Excuse me. Completely ignore these guys. Uh, wow. If it hasn't been obvious now, this is definitely not the way. You, this is definitely a way you don't want to play the game. Just completely running in. I'm just doing this because I played the game so much. I played the uh, 
uh, exploit the enemy AI, because the AI in this game is incredibly stupid, but that, then again, what the hell, this is 1990. The AI, AI in games like this, stealth hasn't really become much more of a popular thing except for Metal Gear, but that was in Japan. Because clearly the NES game had no real stuff to it whatsoever. But, anyways, going off topic, let's head on up the stairs, and we're already at, we're already finished wow. with the level, pretty much. Jump up here with completely unnecessary sprigs. Take him out. Actually, what's the point? Anyways, let's go. Ow. Okay. Take you out. And boy. Boy. Screw both you guys, I'm out of here. Yeah. AI of the century, folks. Oh yes, and just like any arcade game in the in this time, after a few levels you got little cutscenes like that. But anyways, let's head on to the mint, which to this day I forgot what a mint is. I'm pretty sure someone's gonna tell me that later, but whatever. Smash. Oh, I might have <laughs> I got so caught by myself, I might as well explain this. Some stages, a couple stages have little gimmicks like this where you can take it out guards like this, where the danger smashes them. I don't know. It's something that a lot of people don't seem to uh, see or notice, so I feel like I should mention it now. Oh god. Excuse me. Go, go, go. Yeah. Stay away from these guys at all costs. Come here, buddy. Smash. What? It feels satisfying doing that. It's the closest thing you can get is to killing something in this game. Eh, no comment. Hopping down here, take out this guard real quickly. Seal this. Head on back up the stairs. Come here, buddy. And let's go. Head up the stairs here, and what's up ahead? Take you out. Go. Go. Oh, yes. You see that rake on the ground? Well, apparently, uh... There's apparently on the internet, from what I've seen, there's apparently a cheat, or as I like to call it, glitch, involving a rake. Where supposedly if you hit a rake at the same time, you get hit by a bullet. Now, let me just quickly say, rakes are pretty much just like cans. They stun you and they attract me attention. But if you get hit, but supposedly if you get hit by a rake and you get hit by a bullet, you apparently become invincible until you pick up a treasure. I've never done that myself, and I'm not, I don't feel, I feel like it's way too risky to try it. But hey, if you really need the invincibility for that, go right ahead. I really think it's useless. Since the game on its own is pretty easy. But let's head on out, and let's go to stage 5, the underground gold bars, or as I like to call it, a mine. Yet oddly enough, we're not stealing any gold whatsoever, instead we'll be stealing bombs. I don't know. And hey, snazzy way of entering the level, though why are we entering- well, What kind of minecart works like this? Going down holes and then smashing apart at the end. I'll never get that. And I guess new enemy type is a dog. And if as if you can see the dog here, it looks really weird. And think of it as what if Rayman had a pet? Cause really, that's something I should bring up with the graphics. They this is really a strange looking game, but it's the early 90s, so you can't really complain about the graphics being any bad. I actually kind of like this artwork. Well, not really artwork, but style of graphics. It actually kind of looks like Legos, if you think about it. Which actually becomes more apparent if you... Anyone who's played uh, Sonic and Sega All-Star Racing, I guess you can, you guys could probably agree that, yeah, these guys definitely look like Legos, especially in 3D. Hell, if they made a Lego set of these guys, that'd be pretty cool. Oh, God. Stepping on a dog. Okay. Wow. And here we got a dangerous bomb from Bowerman, so there must be a white bomber nearby. Go oh my god! 
What the? Come here. Oh my god. Yeah. Alright, so how are we supposed to get through these guys? Hmm. Looks really complicated. Alright. I have an idea. Let's go. Go. Mission success! Security of the century!